three ways to emotion coach your kids. That's coming up next. Hi, I'm Chad Bullock, the founder of Future Proof Kids and the Ready Aim Parent Podcast, where we help you teach kids skills that really matter in business and life. Emotions, they can be tricky, can't they? Dealing with our own can be tricky, let alone somebody else's. You ever had a bad day and you snap at the first person who asks you a question? What happens to all of us, even our kids? We're all human and emotions are a real part of who we are. Now, when our kids snap, we might contribute it to a lack of sleep or maybe they, they didn't eat enough and we bark at them for being disrespectful. But this is the perfect opportunity for us to teach emotional intelligence skills to our kids through our own example. The other day, my son came home from school and he snapped at my wife when she asked if he had completed something earlier in the day. It was a simple question, but he gave her a very harsh answer. So my wife, the genius that she is, <laughs> paused and after a few minutes gave him an ear. And it turns out that was exactly what he needed. She asked if things were okay and if anything happened at school today that he wanted to share or he wanted to talk about. Come to find out there was some trouble at school with an older boy, and it was still upsetting him. This older boy apparently does not like my son, and he's pretty mean to him. He just doesn't like me at all, he said, and he told her the whole story. Turns out he wasn't upset about my wife asking him about his responsibility. It was a combination of him forgetting to do it, that coupled with this incident at school, really just made him feel on edge with his emotions. She could have gotten upset that he was upset and yelled at him for that rude remark and told him he was being disrespectful, but she didn't. And so today, what I wanna share with you are three things you can do to start emotion coaching your kids. And I'm gonna do that through my wife's wonderful example. And hey, maybe I'll get a few brownie points for talking about her this, in this week's episode. Number one, regulate your own emotions. The number one thing my wife was able to do was regulate her own emotion. Oftentimes the hardest time to practice emotional intelligence is when the moment gets heated up. Instead of letting her emotions control her reaction and her words, she paused and that split second pause, that moment, it hit her. She knew there had to be something else going on with him. Something must have happened at school. And so she waited for a few minutes. Number two, she accepted all his emotions. We as a society are still trying to shake off the historical notion that emotions are bad. Men shouldn't cry. Emotions should never be a part of the workplace. But that's crazy talk. We're emotion beings, we're emotional. We need to accept that and learn the best way to use those emotions to guide us and create stronger relationships. Now, this doesn't mean my son should start verbally abusing my wife or the other boy and grab a stick and start hitting the dog. What it means is that she realized he's human. He has emotions too, and she accepted it. Then after a pause, dug in to find out what was underneath and causing that emotion. Number three, she empathized with him. He was allowed to tell her the whole story from his perspective and she acknowledged how he must have felt. You know, this reminds me of that quote, people don't care what you know until they know that you care. When we listen empathetically and validate our child's feelings, high stress emotions tend to dissipate very quickly. We must realize as parents, emotion is an opportunity to create a bond and to teach. 
And I'll paraphrase what John Gottman said in Raising an Emotionally Intelligent Child. Parents must be aware of their children's feelings and be able to empathize, soothe, and guide them because children learn most lessons about emotion from their parents. This includes all kinds of emotions like the ability to control impulses, delay our own gratification, to motivate ourselves, even how we read other people's social cues. And like this situation, learn how to cope with life's ups and downs. Gottman went on to say, children who are emotion coached experience fewer negative feelings and more positive feelings. You can imagine the distance my wife could have created with our son if she had snapped back at him for his harsh response. He would have never opened up and shared what happened. She would have just been that mean mom that doesn't understand and doesn't care. But instead, he learned a valuable lesson in emotional intelligence through her example. When you see your kids angry, remember this. Anger can be thought like an iceberg. On the surface, you see a sign that says mad. But if you dig deeper, you might find stress, or rejection, or overwhelm, or even scared. So the next time your kids bark back at you, remember these things. Pause and keep your own cool. Accept their emotions. Recognize it as a chance to teach and grow closer and empathize with them. Once your kids understand why they feel mad or angry, they can be better able to cope with the situation when it comes up again. And with time, they'll be a pro just like you. And for business leaders like myself, that's the kind of kid I wanna hire, emotionally coached kids. Do these things with your kids and you'll be raising a future-proof kid. Hey, did you like this episode? If you did, there are three things you can do right now to continue your journey of future-proofing your kids. First, you can subscribe to our channel, and I hope you will so we can keep sending you helpful videos that help you future-proof your kids with great skills. Second, you can like our Facebook page, where we're always sharing great articles, quotes, and other things about the real skills your kids will need in their future business lives. And third, you can head on over to our website, sign up for our newsletter, where we can send you free offers, free trainings, free podcasts, and anything else we don't do here on this channel. So you can get started by clicking on any of the buttons you see right here. And we look forward to seeing you on the next video. And until then, keep future-proofing your kids.